In a previous video, I tried out this Claude Talk to Figma MCP. In that video, I used Claude Desktop, which I love and I use day to day. But in this video, I wanted to actually try it out with Claude Code. The setup, all you need to do is clone this repo, which I've already done. And then you should be able to run bun install and then bun socket. So bun socket will start the Figma WebSocket server. So I already have the plugin installed and I go over how to do that in my previous video. So take a look there to see more instructions on this. But basically you will upload a manifest file from the releases of that repo to get this plugin. So here's the Cloud Talk to Figma plugin. You will want to copy this channel ID. So to install the MCP for Cloud Code, all you have to do is type Cloud MCP add and then the name of the MCP, bun x Cloud Talk to Figma MCP at latest. This command will add that MCP server to your Cloud Code. It should be able to connect for me on that channel. So now you can see it joined that channel, successfully joined, and now it's asking me what I'd like to do. In the previous video, we had Claude Desktop create this little dashboard for us. And what I'm gonna do is have it kind of extend on this and create this settings page. Look at the frame one and you'll notice that we're on an overview page. I want you to clone that frame and then create the settings page using all of the same styles as the original design and create a profile settings page that has a email and name settings, some notification toggles and a time zone setting. Now, when I first tried this, the MCP server kind of failed at aligning the elements within the page that it created, and it kind of created them way off of the document. So I'm gonna try to give it just a little bit more info. Within the design, within the frame, you should align the elements that you create on the page relative to the frame and to the cards that are within that frame. So I'm just hoping that that little bit more of info will help it on that first shot to to align them properly. So now you can see it's going to examine the page. And if I go back to my, my WebSocket server, you can see some of that data that it's transmitting back and forth. Now, if you get request timeout at this stage, go ahead and just restart the WebSocket server and rejoin the channel by getting a new channel ID. And that should clear it up. Okay, so now it says it understands the design, it's going to clone the frame. So let's jump back to Figma and see. Okay, so you got the frame has been cloned here. Now it's highlighted the settings page. And now it's titled settings. And we'll see what it can do here. So it's going to remove all of those widgets that it had. So it looks like it's going to create the profile settings card. Okay, there we go. It's got profile settings, a full name, got the email field now. Great. So it added that radius you just saw there. It's got a save button that's kind of poorly aligned there, but we'll let it keep going here. Notification settings. Great. And it definitely is aligning better. My first attempt at this, I wasn't able to see any of these elements because they were way off of the document. So it's definitely doing a much better job on this time. So we've got some notification toggles now. And next it should do a time zone setting. There we go. Yeah, this is great. It's a little bit uh, cut off here, but not too bad for a single shot. Definitely uh, cloned that frame. It's got all of the same navigation. The styling is pretty consistent. And now it is, what is it doing here? Uh oh, I'm not sure what it's doing now. Okay, so I think it tried to insert them into the parent node and that seems like it kind of messed things up here so let's see i think when it moved it into this node that's when it kind of poorly aligned it see that's what that's what happened before so yeah if you are familiar with figma maybe you have some better prompting that you might be able to use comment below if you know how to prompt better maybe using some figma language that Claude code would understand, but you notice that it got it right first, but then when it moved it, that's when it kind of stopped being relative to the parent here. So let's see if we can get it to correct that. 
when you first created the elements on the page, they were aligned properly and they were sitting on the page itself. And then you moved the nodes under a parent and they are now being displayed outside of the frame. So something happened to the positioning of the elements and they're no longer visible. So I think it's going to try to move them now. Let's see if it can correct itself here. It's still not getting it. Okay, so now it's going to remove them all and try again. So it removed all of them and it looks like it's re-adding them back in. So definitely let me know if you have a better prompt for this. There's probably a way to get this to one shot properly. Okay, so let's verify the final design. All right, so now it's it completed that after two or three tries. Let's take a look at the design here. There we go, settings page. We've got profile settings, notification settings, time zone. Not the best alignment, the button and the adding here but overall matches the original design that we had and it did capture all of my requests from the prompt so yeah let me know what you think and if you're able to get it to one shot that alignment issue let me know in the comments thanks for watching like if you found it useful subscribe for more in the future thanks